from Norway and chose the art of the intentional nearness. Yoki Soma, a Norwegian extreme sports enthusiast, specializes in close proximity flying. Your brain thinks that you're actually flying like a bird for a minute, so it's just a pure sensation of human flight. It's free falling with a wingsuit on. The wingsuit inflates and acts like a plane wing, allowing the wearer to glide. Slight movements of the body can steer the flyer who's falling through the air. If you do this, then it will react very instantly and send you to the, the direction that you want to go. For those who do it, the biggest thrill is getting as close to the landscape as possible. You're flying and you see all the trees and everything passing by in, in very high speed. This is, uh, this is f***ing awesome, you know? In August 2010, Yoki and a group of friends gathered in Sognefjord in Norway. They wanted to make a film showing how exciting and precise close proximity flying can be. We were mainly looking for a location where we can pass some people and still make it out and safe enough to, to pull the parachute. 3,000 feet above them, Yoki and Tom Eric jump out of a helicopter and within 15 seconds will reach a terminal velocity of 120 miles an hour. So we were coming in very steep, and the more steep you go, the more speed you have. And then I see them in the horizon with their two wingsuits, and I'm looking at them like, whoa, that angle that they have, they're going to impact the ground right here, right where I am. Using tiny adjustments to his body position, Yoki aims for a fixed point two meters from the group. But you never estimate how low you're going to go before you actually feel how the air is. At this speed, and with such a small target to aim for, there is little margin for error. And then the other guys spotted them as well. And they were like, oh, oh my god, look at that. They're coming right at us. Of course, my goal was always to, to go as close as I would be comfortable. And I'm looking and I'm holding on. I'm like, oh my God, guys, be careful, come on. And if he's not lined up perfectly now, it's already too late. Don't react until after they've flown by us. So, of course, when I flew over there, I was like, whoa, maybe that was a little bit too close. They've missed them by just one meter. We attacked it very steep and we knew that we had enough speed, so. It felt completely safe until I was over it. And then when you're over it, it doesn't actually matter if you get them scared when you're finished with the whole thing. You know, it was such a kick to see them like that. And I was so scared and nervous for them at the same time. I was like, guys, do you really have to get that close? 